as far as like sort of short term for the folks here who are looking for some very specific thoughts on how they can use social media or how they can use um, the way that delivery systems uh, to reach this audience and to communicate them. Do you have any thoughts on that? Any insights? Wow. Um, you know, I toy with the idea of using gaming as a, a very effective platform. That's mm -hmm. another part of our business. So we've we purchased a couple of gaming entities. One is um, the biggest StarCraft II league outside of Korea, which has tens of millions of registered users. And who knew three years ago, I would never even have dreamt that you could create a business model, a subscription model based around people watching professional StarCraft II players play live over the internet, live streaming, out of a studio in Hollywood that we own. And they'll pay to watch that every month. It's kind of similar to the poker model, I guess, where you watch professional poker players on TV. And we also produced uh, a lot of live content concurrently, uh, talk shows, interviews with famous gamers, and there's just a whole niche audience of esports that are fiercely loyal, um, that are just obsessed with, with you know, gaming and esports and all content related to that. Um, I just think that becomes a platform that's, that's universal for all different types of content. Now, Microsoft's kind of figured this out on their Xbox Live platform. They're starting to produce their own original content, and we're actually selling some content to them to put on their platform because they released an internal study last year that showed that most gamers, when they're not gaming, want to watch original content on the gaming site when they're not. They want to they be able to communicate uh, with the fellow gamers, and they want to watch original content when they're not gaming, but they want to stay on the site. It's very, t very sticky. So, I mean, that's mm -hmm. just kind of a platform, I think, that's becoming universal. That's, so and eventually, I think it will be reverse engineered that uh, original content that's on these gaming sites will acquire a huge audience because the cu customer acquisition costs on these gaming sites is very small because they're already logged on anyway. And then you get a big following, 5, 10, 15, 20 million registered users watching some webisode series on a gaming platform. And eventually, Warner Brothers is going to come knocking and say, wow, we want to make a movie or a TV series based on this original IP. And it will be reverse engineered back into the studio system. That's kind of my, my view anyway. I think that's where we're going. 